Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. I am here to do a four card spread for you. Uh, this will be from March 1st through the 15th, 2018. It will cover the past, now, future, and then of course your overall outcome. Now, please make note that, you know, energies are, uh, you know, trans transformative, obviously. They transcend. So, you know, uh, different things. Your, your, your future might be your outcome, all that good stuff. So just note that. Please be sure to like and subscribe if this does resonate with you and note in your comments. Love hearing from you. I'm super active. And also check out our Facebook page, guys. Um, we have a closed group there called the Guided Intuitive. We'd love to have you request entry. We'll take a look at it and then have you uh, come on in. And just that way you'll be grandfathered in later on down the line when we're much more uh, restricted. So just note that. Thank you for being here. If you're a current subscriber and if you're a new you know, subscriber, uh, subscriber, welcome. Okay, let's go ahead and get started for you. I will be using the love, uh, love journey cards. The reason I'm using these is because it's love for self. And then also you're, you're, you're actually going on a journey. They're beautiful cards. Um, they are uh, by uh, Alana Fairchild and Richard Cohen. And Rossellini is doing the art, uh, you know, kind of illustrations on the cards. They are divine, guys. Really beautiful. I will be clarifying with the Soul Tree Oracle cards here. Nice, right? And then last two weeks, I did the Soul Tree Self-Discovery cards. So we're going to use the Oracle cards on this round. Uh, so, uh, and that being said, let's get started. So in your past position, let's take a look at this. Well, what a great way to start out your read. Sagittarius, this is heaven heaven. Nice. Now this is a seven card and that talks about analysis, meditating, knowledge, you know, awareness and understanding. Very, very nice. Now this is really beautiful. This is talking about, this is talking about an enlightener is calling you to more. And more divinity, more love, more acceptance, and more embrace of life itself. So there's no limit in what is being offered to you from this divine lover calling you here. Uh, and um, this wants you to rejoice and know that the dance of love between you and the divine is a removing of veils of illusion one at a time Sagittarius one at a time so I, I like this I think this is pretty cool because until um, you behold each other you know just in your truth and you know um, that type of thing you can finally discover who you are with each other and to know that you are love this is the interesting thing because you're meant to live, you're meant to live heaven, you know, and that's what you're meant to live heaven here now and not later, not sometime after you, you, you know, uh, you know, cross over. This is saying, what use is this life and body if not to live in heaven now? And so Sagittarius, this is saying to look at the, you know, look at the mad divine genius, you know, and all that is, especially all the puzzling parts of your life. That, you know, at times will make you scratch your head and say, what the heck? Or they might, you know, uh, you know, tear at your hair or scrunch up your face or scream with frustration. <laughs> you know, these are all places in which the divine is saying, hey, here heaven is hiding. So let let's really unveil this together and let me show you. Let me unveil your own mad divine genius right here. Look for the heaven, Sagittarius, even when it is hiding. Okay even when it is hiding, because it wants to be known by you, okay? So it's just really calling you to do more, to love more, to do all of that. So just, re just you know, rejoice and know, um, re -know, that, know that actually at this particular time. Think about living heaven here on earth and what that looks like to you, Sagittarius. Now, this is in your past position. You might be experiencing this now, so you're just going to kind of have to, have to kind of let me know. Um, so let's go ahead and move into your now position and see what that is. Sweet. Look at this. Okay, Sagittarius. This is Towering Magnificent. Towering Magnificent. 
Didn't I tell you these illustrations are gorgeous? It's like it's this movement of momentum moving up here. So what, this is a three card. The 30 card reduces to a three and it talks about the expressionism, uh, you know, that type of thing. Uh, uh, creativity and just joy, the joy of living. So this is towering magnificence. So what, what this is talking about is, is just, how do I want to say this? It's like, um, it's like the, you're entering the presence of the truly great and sublime divinity. And it is without form, yet it exists in all forms. You know, it's humbling and it, it asks nothing of you. It just is. And when we encounter it, we are moved beyond words. We are moved beyond the mind and really into the realms of the heart that we may just never experience before. So it truly takes Sagittarius, a brave soul, to meet this towering majesty that this card depicts of the divine presence. And it can be terrifying at times, too. You know, it can be terrifying. And um, because as limitations and preconceived notions crumble in the wake of the light, you're just being brought into this place out of love because you're ready. And your soul, Sagittarius, has been craving connection to something so much bigger than itself. And... Your, your, your soul's craving to find something worthy, um, you know, something worthy to which that you can devote itself entirely to, you know. Um, that's something larger than yourself, something that you, is so worthy. Um, and this greatness is becoming available to you now, and it's to be witnessed. So you may find that greater purpose of service, which comes you know, through your, that your heart craves, because this, what this is saying that you're ready and that your inner path is opening up to direct the experience of the divine presence. It's opening up. So it's happening now, but it's also, it's also happening to, according to divine timing. Okay. So it's happening according to divine timing. So this is what this truly wants to let you know, that just to, to really trust in that grace of that. And it's also saying that you're connecting with your spiritual guidance on a more conscious level now. And uh, that, you know, kind of any sense of yourself appears to be falling away from you now. It's only because that you've kind of outgrown it and you've got this new awareness that's taking its place. So it's kind of like, it's like, it's like, here's like the old and it's the, and it's the new that's coming into it. And it's, it's really beautiful. It's, it talk, you know, obviously the water's a little bit about, about the emotions and that side of things, but it's, it's happening now. So your, your, your inner path is opening up with the divine presence. So maybe what it is that, that you are actually doing is according to the divine and it's happening in divine timing and that uh, you're connecting with your spiritual guidance more consciously than you ever have, uh, or at least now, and you, you sense that. So, you know, some things are falling away from you and some things you've outgrown, but just because, you know, like I said before, that new things are taking its place. So towering magnificence, um, really beautiful. Let's take a look at your future and see what that is. Now, the title of this card, Sagittarius, is Spiral Dance of the Goddess. Spiral Dance of the Goddess. Look at that. That in itself is, is just is so calming. And this is saying that from a point of light that's unfolding, we become a soul and then we incarnate into this sacred body and our lives become, you know, this beautiful, you know, kind of divine work of art that you see here. I mean, that's what kind of this is, is talking about. And it's, you know, through all its dimensions, space and time, it's saying that the divine, that, that your, your existence is a divine happening. Okay, let me get, let me kind of share a little bit more. So, you know, it, it it's almost as if, 
And this is how the soul becomes a divine human in the making. You know, as you sense yourself moving and shifting from the light into the dark and back again, just like this card kind of depicts here a little bit, that you're moving into sacred expression. You're manifesting your soul's essence into a form of your life. And you're, you're actually doing it sometimes. You're threading light through the darkness even without even realizing that you're doing it. But you, um, you're, you're matching your life with the light. And, and it's, it's almost as if it's like this, this dance, this spiritual dance. And you become more luminous, more radiant. radiant and it, it, it's helping you almost assist others just through your presence. And I, I mentioned this in another read, but it's so crazy because you, you can't, sometimes it's a difficult path to follow. Like, you know, the suffering can arrive in waves and it's, it's, it's just best to be present with it and just trust it that it is not a permanent condition and wait for that spiral, you know, to turn from dark to light again, you know, always moving closer and closer to the purity of the center and just expanding outwardly, outwardly like that, you know is because you're being held by the divine and, 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 and feeling your cosmic lungs as they reach far and wide and just taking in all this life. This just, just like that last card, that, that towering of magnificent, this is saying that you are growing, that you are bringing more of your light into form. And you may be meeting obstacles, you know, within yourself and the world. And it's only because you're bringing, you know, you're, you, you're bringing, you know, the light. So, you know, we all have different uh, bumps in our path that create some sort of obstacle. And this is saying just bless those signs because they are bringing you to become more. And it's just in divine timing. So this is really beautiful, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and then take a look at the, the outcome here. The title of this card is The, the Pearl Threaded. The pearl threaded. What an interesting card. Now, the three plus eight is 11, and that's a master number in numerology. And uh, the 11, of course, is the higher spiritual plane. It's, uh, you know, intuitive and illumination. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty beautiful there. So um, this is, this is, this is quite interesting because I've, I've, I think I've seen this card one other time. But what it what it talks about is is that you know through our labor, you know we have to face our inner challenges in solitude. Sometimes it's called our spiritual transformation, right? And it's not an independent event, Sagittarius. Nor it is to you know, and it's not it's not for our victory alone as we approach that that more enlightened way of of kind of embracing love. So. I think what this card is like, you know, each pearl is is on the divine mother's garland is what this card is saying. Gradually assuming the luster and revealing the beauty, worth and radiance over many lifetimes. And it is and it's and it's only together that this can create such magnificence and 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 um that precious offering for her gift of life. And we allow our own journey to become really integrated into the journey of the group sometimes, um, you know, without being weighed down and instead of being lifted up. So to do this, we honor the thread that connects each and any one of us as a divine being. You know, it's, it's, it's like, it's just as the fingers are, are on to one hand. What it is saying is that we honor the pearl essence of their divine nature that we're capable of growing and transforming and becoming divine beauty. Every single finger belongs to one hand. Every pearl is threaded and every one of us is actually connected through lifetimes. And, uh, and we can draw upon the collective effort to allow our journey to become integrated into the journey of the group without being weighed down by them, but instead being lifted up. So I like this. I really, really like this. So this card wants to ask you to shift your perception and to allow groups that you're involved in uh, 
to really go ahead and, and, and quite frankly become just a source of energy, lifting rather than depleting. So if a group that you're involved in cannot do this for you, then this may not be the place you should be because it doesn't have that same vibrational renaissance, right? And it may be time to seek another group that is more energetically supportive of your vibration. So trust your feelings, uh, Sagittarius. Don't be scared of opening up and allowing yourself to connect with others um, because that way you, you truly know if a group or a gathering is for you. And if it's not, you need to move on, right? But do trust that you are not alone on your journey and that the soul connections will nourish you and will draw you to them like this pearl that is stranded to another pearl through here in this kind of, you know, imagery. We're all connected. So, you know, find your tribe that speaks to you, that brings you up and energetically makes you feel more supportive in your vibration. So... Let's go ahead and pull some uh, cards from the Soul Trees uh, Oracle, because I totally am interested in taking a look at that. I'm so excited. So let's take a look and see what that, what one-liners that we could get. Uh, just to remind us and maybe just say it in a different way to really reinforce uh, what we're doing here. So, and I'm just letting these fall. There's the leaves on the trees. <laughs> okay. I shoveled them before, but I just kind of want to do it uh, here as well. So let's take a look at this. Okay. We've got Break Free, which actually talks about oh, release and letting go of what has been and what has been holding you back. And I'm sure that might have some renaissance uh, to you, uh, you know, as it... Uh, goes through, um, you know, the towering magnificent, you know, getting rid of the old and coming with the new. So breaking free. Um, also, unique gifts. Unique gifts. Uh, and obviously, you know, we all have those, those, the beauty within us and have very unique gifts that are sometimes unveiled. Uh, and so I think the main, main thing with this one is really to focus on it's time to share with others what is unique about you because your gift may be creative, Sagittarius. Your gift may actually be creative and um, felicit you know, really facilitated inspiring or healing, you know, something like that, inspiration or healing. And perhaps you've got a way of communicating with people or expressing yourself that is inspiring. So you're going to have to tell me what that means to you. I'm going to pull another one here because I want to see intention. What is your intention? Gosh, this is so cool. So this, this talks about um, what roots intentions root new potential right and it inspires manifestation kind of see the blooming uh, on the top there and it gives it, it it gives us focus so this is saying set your intentions truly set your intentions there so you can achieve that balance and that balance here is just choose more balance in your life. So whether it's the groups you're involved with, again, something that balances you in your life. And, and make sure you're not trying to do too many things. You're giving too much attention to one thing. Ground yourself through this process of, you know, being connected. So really beautiful. Really exciting for you. Um, thank you, Sagittarius. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the second half of March. And until then, namaste.